everyone and welcome back to our JRPG series. In the last episode we got our ranged attacks in there and now we're going to get our enemies attacking us back. So in this episode we're going to cover how the spider is going to attack our characters and our characters are going to react to each hit. So let's get started. So to get our enemy to attack us we have to first of all make an animation for his attack. So at the moment we got this attack melee here. We got this one. And I think this one will be just fine. Okay. So we're going to make a montage out of this. And we'll call this one Spider Attack. And we'll then go and add this to our character. So we go to Enemies, Spider Unit. And we're going to go to his combat component and set the attack montage to that new spider one we made. So the main thing that's different with the enemy is they don't get a chance to pick what they want to do. They're going to be automatically chosen for us, so they don't show any UI or anything like that. So we're going to hit compile and save on here, and then we're going to go to its combat component. So let's close this, go to the combat component, and take a look at our, our first uh, event up here where we are doing deciding what attack we're doing. Now on here we also need to know whether or not we are a playable character. Now if we are a player character, we want it to show the menu and stuff like that. But if we're not the player character, we're gonna do something pretty different. So on our combat component, we're gonna to go to the start unit term. And in here we need to tell it to when it's an enemy to do a, a which attack to do and who to attack. So at the moment we've got this check going in at the start where we're checking if the current unit character is of the party unit base class. And if it is, it means it's a player character. But if it isn't and it's false, this means we're going to make this an enemy. So first thing we need to do is know who we're attacking. So we need to get act all actors of class. And we're going to get all the party unit base characters. Basically, all the player characters. And then from there, we're going to random ray item and we're going to set that to the unit target. So now it knows who to target. Next, we need to know what to do with it. So we're going to do a switch on int. And we're going to have just one moment in here. And this first one will always be the normal attack. So I'm going to drag this out and do an attack command. Like that. And then finally, we're going to set the camera to this thing. So set camera. So it's taking all the stuff we would do normally in a character, but minus the UI and condensing it down into one single bit of code here. Now, when we do eventually add extra spells and abilities for each uh, character and enemy, you will add them here for the enemy's choices and you'll set up some sort of system to determine which one they should do. But for now, this should do just fine for us. So let's test this out hit play and I've set it up so that Greystone will go first but then enemies will go next by changing the haste values so that would go like that and enemies should go next and off he goes to do the attack and he does the attack now at the moment he is doing damage and stuff like that to the character but the character doesn't have any animation set up to do reactions or uh, any sp other special effects so I'm going to go over to my characters and set up Greystone, Gideon and Phase Hit React. So let's go into the character animations and find the Hit React. And we'll do this one. Create and a montage. And this will be Greystone, Hit React. We're going to go to the uh, characters and... We got all of all of them here actually. We just use these ones. So we got Gideon bollocks of it here. Hit front. I'm gonna make a any montage of that. That'd be Gideon. Hit react. And you've got phase hit uh, react as well. Yeah. Create any montage. Bay hit react. Okay, next I'm going to go to that um, spider 
animation and let's go to uh, enemies go to the spider and go to the attack and on here we're going to add our deal damage notifier so find out where that was going to be I'm going to go there and add the deal damage notifier um, and that'll do that we also might want to add like a special effect as well so like a particle effect maybe so we do play particle effect and we'll do a hit and in here we'll pick one of these ones I don't know what one we'll do um, let's go for we'll just go for the hit slash like normal and again we want to put this into the right location so at the moment it's at zero zero so I'm just going to increase that by 200 not too bad but yeah just a different track to keep it a bit more organized yeah okay that'll do and obviously I'm going to raise up a little bit as well not too much actually there you go maybe a bit more forwards yeah save and close this so now we've got the notify on there that will trigger the deal damage event and then on our Gideon unit we're going to set up his class default hit reaction animation we do Gideon hit react and you'll do that to the other two as well Greystone, hit react, and play. Hit react. Okay, so let's see how that looks now with the enemy attacking us as well. Okay, looking good. <coughs> Not too bad. So one thing I might tweak on my enemies is change their positioning a little bit so they're not too far forward. I mean, they look like they get too close. So a little tweak there. Go to enemy unit. And I'm just going to move the mesh back a bit. To about there. Now just that out. Good and good. Okay, so now we've got enemies and players doing their base attacks. And there we go, we've now got attacks from the melee characters, the ranged characters, and now the enemy characters. In the next episode, we're going to work out how to actually take away the health from the damage being done by each character. So you can join us on that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where you can catch all my videos early from just $1 a month. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.